All right, Leo, welcome to your October 2023 singles love reading. Leo, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with all of you, so please take what resonates. Leave the rest. Feel free to check your other sign placements to see if there's any more clarity or guidance or information in those readings for you. Don't know what that word is. But I'd say it has something to do with puzzle pieces. Welcome to my channel. My name is Rudy. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you all for being here. All right. King of Pentacles. Let's see what we have going on, Leo. That was you, wasn't it? King of Pentacles showing up saying, hey. All right. Cards are flippy. Let me give a shuffle. I don't know how to say that word. Uh, we have triggered and we have whatever that word is. It looks like S-A-U-D-A-D-E. Um, missing pieces, maybe putting the pieces together. Four of Cups. Ten of Swords. Wheel of Fortune. Three of Swords. Nine of Wands. Eight of Wands. The Devil, King of Cups, we have King of Wands, I swear, Four of Swords. We've got a lot of court cards in all these readings I've been doing today. And look, we end up with the Queen of Pentacles, subconscious. Alright, let me get these straight over here real quick. I don't know exactly how to pronounce that, Saudiji, or I think it's missing something that was there at one point in time. Um, feeling a hole or feeling an emptiness where once there was something is what I feel. And you go from triggered to that. And what I'm feeling is that it could be a past relationship. It could be a relationship that you just got out of or that you're getting out of here. Uh, Leo, is that, you know, something happened Maybe something ended. Maybe you saw the light in a relationship. And now you're kind of missing it. Now you're kind of romanticizing it. Or thinking it wasn't that bad. Or it wasn't, uh, you know, so horrible. Why did it have to end? Um, that kind of energy. I'm going to read out of the book on that and see what it says. 21... Sauda G. Mm. The presence of absence, longing, missing, desiring something that may not return, melancholic nostalgia, awareness and acceptance of something missing, desiring something that never was, yearning for something or someone that may return in the distant future, happiness from past memories, complex emotions. Um, it can be nostalgia, missing something that was that's gone uh, but from the bang and triggered it's something that wasn't good for you something that wasn't good for you and what we often do is when we have a hurt or we have something in our life that has hurt us we have a tendency to uh, make it better than it was oh he didn't mean to do that she didn't mean to say that they didn't mean to hit me. They didn't mean to embarrass me. You know, it. you have to re-remember and go back to why something happened. Go back to that trigger. Go back to that bang. Go back to that reasoning. You're starting out with the Four of Cups and the Ten of Swords. So I feel, again, it is harping on the past. You know, this person sitting there, seeing all these cups here from the past, not seeing this one cup of love that's being offered to them. It's like, not till you can clear this up, not till you can handle all this emotion and stress and hurt can you move forward. It's holding you back from seeing this cup that's being offered to you right here. 
there's somebody that cares for you, that's somebody that wants to maybe have a relationship with you, but you're still in that hurt. You're still in that, why did this have to happen? Ten of Swords is an ending. It's also, you're done with something. You have to be done with something. It's this triggered card. It's an ending. It's like, no, that's, you broke that. You broke my rule or you broke the rule or, but now you're going into going, oh, this nostalgia goes really well with the three of swords. You have heartache and hurt, but you're learning from it. And what you have to remember with this card is that the whys, why did it happen? Why are you only remembering the good? Remember the bad. Remember why they did this. Remember why they said that. Remember how they embarrassed you. Remember, remember. Remember, there's more pieces together than they are separate. There's more of remembering what actually happened than the pieces that you're trying to fill in with this false sense of love, possibly. I feel like... You could have acted hastily on a situation with the Wheel of Fortune. You could have acted in a way that I almost feel like you knew better. As this on your foundation. They could have made you feel all the feelings. People are really good at that. Some people. Until something was triggered, until you realized something, until you had to end something, until you had to, um, or maybe they ghosted, or maybe they did something. They hurt you. And I almost feel like you feel guilt over it because you almost feel like you knew better. But you're still trying to figure out what happened here. But you're letting it go. You're ending it. We have moon energy here. We have a new moon in Libra on the 14th. And then we have a full moon in Taurus on the 20th of October. So there could be some energy there for you, Leo. You have nine of wands. You've been hurt. You've been battered. You've been through it. But you still have hope. You still have hope. You still have a wanting. You still have a desire for a relationship. You still have a wanting for a stable, secure relationship. You have the Eight of Wands, and I feel like you're going to get a lot of uh, contact, emails, text, phone calls. It's like as soon as people find out you're single or as soon as people find out you're looking, I feel like your phone's going to blow up. I feel like you're going to have a lot of response in a positive way. You know, she's like a little mail, mail carrier. She's delivering in a fast motion. This is, you know, you can be going from, oh, Who's going to ever want me, right? Who's going to ever want me because I'm stuck here. I don't see this cup. To where you put yourself out there when you're finally done with the Ten of Swords. And you realize a lot of people, a lot of support can also be you growing and learning exponentially, very fast, very quick. What you want, what you don't want. You're being represented as the devil. This is a card of Capricorn. It's also a card of... With, it, with you being represented, it could be a card of having been controlled in the past. And realizing that and letting go of that. Not letting others control you. Being in charge of your own life now. Not falling back into temptation. Not falling back into old ways. Not falling back into... Um, bad habits. Not overindulging. 
You know, back in the past, maybe you would have went out and tied one on and you're not doing that now. You're really trying to rationally think through why something happened and move yourself forward. Knowing you're not going to let yourself be controlled anymore. Knowing you're not going to let yourself allow that hurt. Around you, you have the King of Cups. You have a lot of emotional support around you. This could be somebody, even a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, that's coming in, that's offering you that cup. That could be the person. Could be somebody older. Could be somebody uh, emotionally steady and wise. That offers you love. That offers you this beauty, beautiful cup of romance. Could be that just the energy around you where you have a lot of loving support around you. Also. Your hopes and fears, Leo. The King of Wands. I feel you hope for a mature relationship. You hope for a spark. You hope for desire, passion, creativity. I feel like you don't want to be bored in a relationship. You're Leo, you know. This is you, Aries Leo Sagittarius. It is that fire. You want somebody that's just as passionate as you are. That's just, that desires the same things you are, that you do. You know, creating an energy together. Creating something that you all want to grow together. The outcome is the Four Swords. I feel like whatever it is you're putting out there, whatever it is you're manifesting, whatever it is that's coming to you, that's flying, take your time. There's no rush. Sit with things. Think about things. Get to know somebody. Talk to people. Right? There's no rush. Take your time. It doesn't have to be today. It doesn't have to be tomorrow. It doesn't have to be this week. Just take your time. What's going to manifest, let manifest. You know, I feel like whatever this in past relationship was, it was almost like a knight in shining armor that came in, you know, male, female, swept you off your feet, made you believe in things till you knew better. And, you know, when we know better, we do better. Subconscious energy, you have the Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Growth, stability, structure. Queen, mature. King, mature. Wanting a very grounded relationship that is full of potential, full of growth. That is in it. You know, in it for the long haul. Wanting something you can grow with. Some, somebody you can grow old with. Bringing structure, stability. Can be somebody coming in that you're talking to. Could be somebody you work with or have a relationship with through work. Which might not be your physical job like in the office. But it could be a, a division of your work. Maybe somebody you're on a Zoom call with that you are attracted to. That can bring structure and stability in, again, wanting that stable relationship. If this is you being represented, this could be your partner. Again, male, female, doesn't matter. It's just the energies. Having that same desire and that same drive as you do. Could be somebody involved in payroll for the work with the money. Somebody very good with their finances. Could be an accountant even. You have to let me know, Leo. Very interesting. Subconscious. Somebody you're talking to. Somebody you might have mm, what ifs about. You know, what if. But you are definitely ending something that has hurt you. You're ending something that you thought was something and it's not. You thought was one thing and it's not. Ooh, we have frog in reverse. It says, May the lily beneath your breast allow you to drink from its healing waters. Be still, for there is serenity behind the drowning croaks. 
I'll leave it upright, but I will read the reversal in the book. I see frog as transformative energy. You know, tadpole to a frog. Kind of magic in a sense. Frog advises you to find serenity and peace. What you're looking for here, what you're seeking here. Letting go of what wasn't. Your energy might be scattered, overwhelmed, and feel drained. You must settle yourself down to allow this transformation to occur, as it will make its way to you soon enough. Right there with all that energy coming in. You do not need to force this change. You merely need to find peace and await change. Wow. The four swords right here. Don't push. Remember? Rewind and listen. Don't push. Let it come to you. There's no, there's no hurry. There's no hurry. It will come to you when it's supposed to. Nothing that is yours will go past you. Nothing that is meant to be yours will go past you. All right, Leo. Beautiful reading. Take care of yourselves and each other. Stay safe. Be blessed. Leo, know I put readings out mid-month for health, career, finance, and love. If you're interested, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'd appreciate that. Um... If you know any other Leos that need to hear this, please feel free to share. Take care of yourselves and each other. Stay safe. Be blessed. Um, I post every Sunday. I post something. Uh, love readings, mid-month readings, pick a card readings, or I post walkthroughs. I love this little cat and this card. Any of you are cat people, you know, listen up because I think there's a special message in this reading for you. Look at that face. I can't get it there. Ah, uh, that face on that card. That's sweet. I love that. He's on for the ride. He's, he's hanging in there as you are. As you are. As, you know, when we know better, we do better and we are growing right? You're allowing yourself to grow. You're allowing change to come in. You're allowing potential to come in. Beautiful. Leo, take care. Stay safe. Be blessed. Until next month, until November, I will see you all then. Happy Halloween. Blessed Samhain. Bye for now.